Good morning, everyone. This morning we are going to share some line, light on Pandit Nehru's quotation. Pandit Nehru's quotation, or rather we can say Pandit Nehru's philosophy, known as Panchashil. We are going to elaborate the Panchashil that Pandit Nehru has given to all the neighboring nations around India. It was in early 19, late 1950s, and Pandit Nehru went to China. Pandit Nehru discussed and debated about all kinds of issues. India was still nascent, just came out of colonization or slavery, and Pandit Nehru actually created this punch shield or five principles of peaceful coexistence among all the neighbors. China accepted it absolutely willy-nilly, and Pandit Nehru actually dubbed it Hindi Chini Bhai Bhai. <clears throat> Pandit Nehru were very excited that China was in our corner, China was friendly, China was very neighborly, and Pandit Nehru liked it that if China and India both can actually coexist peacefully, then there is nothing to worry about in this part of Asia. But soon after that, when Pandit Nehru returned to the New Delhi, China, instead of following the principles, these five principles of Panchashil, China went ahead and invaded Tibet. War broke out between India and China, and every single thing collapsed turned into Smith Reigns. Five principles are these. Principle number one is regional economic cooperation. Means between China and India and all other nations surrounding India, there should be a regional economic cooperation, means in every economic matter, in every economic vista, all the nations should cooperate with each other and provide helping hand to the nations which need economic assistance or economic cooperation. This way, entire Asian economy should actually grow robust and no nation is going to grind under the abject poverty at all. Because it was 1950s, every nation came out of British York. Every nation's economy was totally drained, and every nation needed to develop its economy without cooperation from China and India, the mightiest nation in the region, in Asia. Small nation had no any kind of prospect, no any kind of opportunity, no any kind of chance to develop its economy. Point number two is regional peace and prosperity. No war, but only peace and work for the prosperity of this part of Asia. No nation should actually go to war with any Asian nation, with any neighbor. But peaceful existence, working on the prosperity of every nation in the region under Panchashil. Point number three, no war, no aggression, accord. Accord was signed between Chindia, that both the nations and all other small nations are never going to go to war or no aggression among them, between them. So that accord actually emphasized that every nation in the, this part of Asia would actually survive, will enjoy prosperity, work for the prosperity, peace, and no war. But China actually breached it sooner, as soon as Pandit Nehru returned to New Delhi, China actually moved into Tibet and breached every single principle of this punch shell. Point number four, cultural exchange and cooperation. Exchange in education, in cultural matters, in all kinds of uh, natural things, in all kinds of cooperation, with whatever, comprehensive cooperation, comprehensive, whatever the subject of cooperation is needed, either by India or China, both the nations, 
both Chindia are going to provide all kinds of cooperation to each other, mutual cooperation, comprehensive cooperation, and not only limited to themselves, but also neighboring nation needing any kind of cooperation, any kind of help, any kind of cultural exchange, they can also join and get the helping hand from these two big brothers of Asia. Number five, territorial integrity and mutual respect. No one is going to invade the territory of any other nation. No nation, no nation of Asia, but they will have mutual respect for everyone's territory. Neither we are going to move into the territory of China with any kind of intent of avarice, nor China is going to do that. Neither we are going to invade the territory of Pakistan, nor vice versa. Nor Pakistan is going to invade the territory of Bangladesh, nor vice versa. But everybody should have mutual respect for the territorial integrity. So these are the five principles mooted by Pandit Nehru propounded by Pandit Nehru in 1950s and every nation including China and all other nations of this part of Asia were expected to respect this Panchashil and abide by, by the Panchashil not to have any kind of war, any kind of aggression, any kind of territorial grabbing any part of territorial integrity, territorial respect, exchange of culture, and provide all kinds of cooperation in comprehensive manner. And focus must be focused upon most important exclusively on regional prosperity because the whole entire region was totally devoured and devastated by the British colonization of the region. Thank you very much for listening. That's all the time we have. See you again next time. Until then, God bless everyone on this planet. Amen.